Hey everybody, Mike Daddy here, bringing you another video. I want to show you this challenge. You're going to notice there in the quick challenges, there was a uh, set off fireworks around Lazy Lake. There's five of them in total. I'm going to show you where all five are. Start off here, me landing into Lazy Lake, and I find one right away. So I didn't look these up beforehand. Uh, I was in the middle of playing matches this morning and saw that pop up and decided, hey, I'm going to go do that real quick. Uh, so luckily I was able to find this one right away, so here's this one. But here's another thing you need to notice about the fireworks. I was just going to set it off and then run away, but I decided, you know what, I want to see the fireworks. And boom, tell me that does not look exactly like Captain America's shield. That looks exactly like Captain America's shield. Just... To me, that is a further teaser that we are definitely getting the Captain America skin in Fortnite later this week. Remember, they sent out that email to content creators uh, saying that a hero would arrive in the item shop later this week. And now that we have this fireworks challenge, we got 4th of July coming up, Captain America just, you know, that's the only thing that makes sense right now. Let me know if you agree with me that the fireworks definitely look like Captain America's shield and that it's a teaser for Captain America. Uh, missed the, the rest of the match here. Uh, like I said, I don't know where the fireworks are, so you're going to kind of see me searching for them. We'll fast forward and skip some spots uh, of this so that we can uh, find them. But... You know, we, we might just go all the way through and show you where everything is. But just, uh, you know, make a mental note of where you see me get each firework so that uh, you can get this challenge done. The other thing with this challenge, uh, you know, I was playing a handful of matches before this challenge uh, popped for me this morning. And you know what? The skill based matchmaking made it uh, kind of sweaty for me. My skill based matchmaking, whatever, however the ranking works, they they had it pretty sweaty for me most of the time. But this challenge came out. I landed at Lazy Lake, and I was noticing there was a lot of bots here. So I, I think they want you to get this challenge done. They want to make it easy for you. Uh, get the flare gun here. There was something I got it yesterday that I suspected that I confirmed in this match. So boom, we love that ping. We love that it pings enemies for you. But here's what I confirmed. Uh, I wasn't sure uh, that you had to hit ex exactly get a direct hit to get this damage to a play. And I confirm it here. You see he's behind the box. I make it so that the the flare explodes next to him, and the, the explosive damage is big enough, the radius is, was big enough, that it still did the 60 damage to that player. So that's important to know. If you can time it right, if you get the timing down of when the flare actually explodes, because it will, if you hit a build with it, it will bounce off and then explode if you don't have the timing right. But if you can time it to where it will explode right above or right next to a player, you don't actually have to hit the player with a flare, but that explosive damage will still do 60 damage to him. So that's uh, that's a big, a big plus for that. Okay, we're going to take a look at it here again. Come on. Exactly. Captain America's shield. Right? Looks exactly like it. The color scheme is exactly the Captain America shield. All the colors in the same exact order of the Captain America shield. Captain America is coming to the item shop. Uh, again, if, if you don't believe me, or if you don't agree with me, I should say, uh, comment down below and let me know what you think. Still working on getting those chance shots with, <laughs> with, uh, uh, with snipers here. I don't, if only I could hit my headshots, I would have so many more eliminations. I hit, I hit so many body shots. Luckily, that guy was one of the I was able to eliminate him. Okay, we're getting to the end part here where most of the uh, POI here is clear. So you'll, you'll see me really start to find the last uh, few 
fireworks here after I take care of these guys. Those marauders. But yeah, look at this. Definitely, definitely bot, right? I don't normally have a whole lot of bots in my lobby, but... When I, when I went to do this challenge, there was a whole lot of bots here. But again, really wanted to get this challenge done and really wanted to get it done in a single match. So, I don't mind. Okay, there we go. We got them all cleared up. Let's go find the last... Uh, I believe I have three more fireworks to do. Again, make some mental notes of where these fireworks are. I guess there's still one more guy. I forgot about this one. But still, keep a mental note of where the fireworks are. So that way, if you don't have in to do these challenges, uh, you'll find them faster than I did and get them this challenge done even faster than me. You can see the storm is closing in on me too. The, the time is ticking down, so... Uh, I was I was starting to panic a little bit. I was like, oh no, I still have a few more of these fireworks left to go. The storm's coming in. I don't know where they are exactly, so I hope I'm able to find them before I die to storm. You know, like we say on Daily Fortnite Podcast, have fun, be safe. Don't get lost in the storm. So I really didn't want to get lost in the storm here trying to do the challenge, but I was determined to get it done uh, so I could get it done in a single match and so that you guys could see where they all are. Boom, there's one up there on top of the hill. This is pretty far north outside of Lazy Lake. So they're not all right next to it. Some of them, you know, you have to go a little bit outside. So keep that in mind. I guess you don't really have to keep it in mind because you're going to know where exactly where they are now. That's getting the storm here. This is something I haven't talked about, but yeah, look, I, I really like the way that they changed the what the inside of the storm looks like. I, I love this like purple rain that's falling down. Really cool. It makes it even harder to see in the storm than it was before, in my opinion. But I think it looks really cool, so kudos to them for that. And boom. There's the last firework, all five of them. Easy 14,000 experience points. I gotta get out of the storm. I won't bore you with watching me uh, heal up so I can get out of here, so we'll fast forward. But I wanna show you a bug that I've been encountering this morning. Let me know you, if you guys are encountering it. And the Whirlpool, obviously still working in pub matches, but to get out of arena. Let me know if you guys know what happened with that. Uh, I was really busy today, yesterday, I mean, so I didn't look up, but I know that the Whirlpools were taken out of competitive playlists and arena. So comment below if you know why. But here's what I've been encountering. I've had a hard time interacting with objects. Look, I'm trying to get in this choppa, not working. I have to hit it, it glitches, but then after I hit it, then uh, the interact button pops up. Then there just happens to be a supply drop nearby, so you know what? I want to get more items. I have an empty slot. I, I, want, I want a purple or gold weapon, so I'm going to go try to get this supply drop. But you can see here, it fills up multiple times, not open. So I don't know what's going on with that. This distraction causes me to get eliminated, but it is what it is. I hope they get that bug fixed. Have fun, be safe, don't get lost in the storm.